classic hip hop beat. More than happy to have it on my channel. If you're a fan of rap, hip hop, you have to know this song. Immortal Technique makes a really good use of a sample of Theme from Love Story by Henry Mancini. Yeah, thumbs up if you agree. This is a staple of any true hip hop fan's library. Uh, moving on to the lesson, <laughs> uh, you're going to start in the right hand with a B, E flat, E flat, B, B, E flat, E flat, B, B, E flat, E, E flat, D flat. E flat, D flat, C, D flat. That's a quick trill. B flat, B flat, D flat, D flat, B flat, B flat, E flat, D flat, and then you start over again. So your right hand for the first part of your instrumental should sound something like this. so on and so forth. That's the right part of your instrumental track. Then for the left hand, you're going to want to think of it as having two sections. The first section is going to be based around an A-flat minor chord in its root inversion, A-flat, B, E-flat. You're going to hit that chord, A-flat, B, E-flat. You're going to hit the chord again. Then you're going to go A-flat, B, E-flat, B, a flat. From there, this goes into the second section, which is based around a G diminished chord composed of G, B flat, and D flat. And then after you hit that chord, the first couple times you're going to play this G, G, B flat, G, 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 B flat, G. But the second time, or for most of the song, like once you get past the couple times where you play this, the second, or the, for the rest of the song, the second part of that little section is gonna switch up. Instead of doing, instead of doing that twice, you're gonna do it once. Then you're gonna go D flat, E flat, D flat instead. So with that in mind, your left hand should sound something like this. That's your left hand for this song. Putting together those two parts that I just showed you, you should get something like this for the first part of your backing track. That's the first part of your backing track. Then the first time your backing track switches up is when Immortal Technique says, anybody with a red shirt can front like a blood. And for this part, you're going to have a high string line combined with just an A down on the left hand. So you're going to be playing this note, but it's going to be 12 half steps or an octave that way. So, and it only hits once at the beginning of your loop, right? So, we're going to forget about the left hand for now, just remember that it's playing A and it just holds it. We're going to focus on the right hand because that's what's important. Your loop starts here. You start on a C, then you hit an E and an A, hold those notes for a second, so you go, and then you go way, 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 way up here. You hit that same chord, A minor second inversion composed of E, A, and C. You're going to hit the E again change the inversion to the first inversion so this time you're playing E, A, and C 
hit the E, and then from here on out you're playing single notes. E, C, A, C, E, A, C, E, A, and then your loop starts again. And I like to hit the low end A, the one in the left hand down there, every time the loop starts I like to hit the A again. So one time slowly, this is what your second part of your backing track should sound like. And that's Dance with the Devil by Mortal Technique.